trouble. The chandelier. It's classy. That's the thing about a chandelier, Dave. It's classy. You stay classy, San Diego. <laughs> Looking into the mirroring shield, Perseus swooped down, and with one deft stroke he cut off the Medusa's head. Out from the monster's severed neck sprang a beautiful winged horse, the Pegasus. He neighed, and the two other gorgons awoke. Quickly, Perseus threw Medusa's head into the magic bag and swung himself into the air. Wailing, the two gorgon sisters took to the air on heavy wings in groping pursuit, but they could not find him, for he had put on his magic cap of invisibility. So, that uh, is a short way of ending one of the tales of um, uh, Medusa and Perseus and Jason and the Argonauts. And so... Who was groping who in that scenario? Well, the sisters were trying to grope at... Uh, Each other? That's lewd. Well, it was ancient Greece. Well, yeah, Homosexuality so... Homosexuality was... wasn't as perverted, you know, as right. it is back now. As, as it is back now. As it is back now. Hi. Welcome to Let's Get Classy with Chris and Mitchell. I'm back, bitches. Mitchell's back after his uh, strike for more wages. And thankfully he, he won. Now he gets paid double what he was getting paid before. Which is? Still zero. Yay! Um, and we're playing Argonus <laughs> and the Gods of Stone. Argo nuts. And so I, uh, I, I recently uh, reviewed this game for work. Okay. And um, I really, really enjoyed it. And it's made by the same uh, people who made Shadowgate, which you may remember our adventures with Shadowgate 64. Do you remember that? Uh, I try not to. It was to. a really slow sludge through the castle. Yes, I remember you played that. played Del the Halfling. We should play it again. We should not. I don't think we really got our, its full potential out. Anyway, um, but so they made the, not that game, but they made the original Shadowgate, of which that was a sequel to. Okay. And that Shadowgate Ooh, also... Oh, is that a fancy new mouse? Yes, it is a fancy new mouse. Look, it glows. I like it. Yeah, I spilled coffee on the other one and it stopped working. Okay. This, ba was, this was $30, which both it seems cheap for a glowy mouse, but mm -hmm. also, to me, was very expensive because it was the only mouse that they had at the store that was wired. I feel like if it's $30, it should not have a cord. No, or, I, I, or did I, you wanted, want, I wanted, wanted a cord. cord. I did not want wireless. I didn't want to have to worry about batteries, and I uh -huh. feel like there's a lag with wireless mouses. Maybe. Okay. And so just, I don't spend enough time on a desktop. Well, I do. Okay. So if we could focus, please. I'm sorry. I ju it just started glowing in my eyeballs. Yeah, it's bright. Yeah. And, and it rotates through the color cycle. I, I see that. It doesn't stop. Okay. I wonder if it's like taking a lot of electricity to do that. Probably not. I wonder if my power bill is going to go up because I have this fancy new mouse plugged in. Doubtful. Um, the point is, is that uh, two years ago they did a re or three years ago maybe I can't look away. They did a re <laughs> my hand's going to be covering it for the majority <laughs> once we start playing. They did a re focus. They did a remake of Shadowgate. Um, yeah. And it was also called Shadowgate, but it had like newly remastered graphics and interface and everything like that, and it was really good. Which that's something that I think we should play at some point. But moving forward from that, this is their next game. Uh, that they've made, and it's uh, Argonus and the Gods of Stone. It's a yeah, hence the title screen. Kind of a walkie simulator. Um, yeah. Kind of which a which is right up my alley. K 
kind of a point and click game and there's a little bit of a mix between the two. It plays okay. a lot like the uh, the King's Quest game that you and I played, King's Quest Eight: Mask of Eternity. Yes. But uh, we got a lot of good feedback on that one. Unlike that game, in this one you can't die, which you know is easier. Right up my alley. So uh, it is also it's just like King's Quest Eight. It's narrated. Pretty much everything that you do and see and you'll you'll see. by. Argonauts? Uh, no, it's narrated by Calliope, who is okay. pay, played by uh, Betsy Bailey, I think was her name. Betsy something. And uh, it was the girl from uh, Carmen Sandy, or not Carmen Sandy, who framed Roger Rabbit. And um, Jessica Rabbit? No, not her. No. Different one. Different one. She was in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and she was in The Princess Bride. She was the mom in The Princess Bride. You know, I've never seen The Princess Bride. Well,. She was in that. I mean, not not to derail your... Feels wh- like whatever. you're trying to. I'm not intentionally trying to derail. I just... Well, I'm sorry. It's okay for, 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 for such a, a, a so-called like cult it. classic, I've never seen it. Well, how many cults have you been in? You can't have seen all of them. Well, my mom's in a cult. That's just called Christianity. Lots of people are in that one. Yeah, but that one especially. All right. New game. If if she ever hears that. We're going to do this. I've said worse. All right. 1270 BC, on the Isle of Crete, Argonus is born to the shipbuilder Argus and his wife Thelia. You play Argonus, who is the son of Argus, who, uh, and his wife Thelia. (laughs) You didn't catch that. (laughs) (laughs) Um, (laughs) Argus is the one who built the Argo. That's where the Argonauts get their name. At my perfumed feet. You make make sure your phone doesn't make that noise again. That was, that was a weird noise. Chupi cha. Uh, so one of the things I love about this game is the writing and the narration of it. At first, like it kind of gets on your nerves because everything is narrated, and so it kind of feels a lot in your face. But as the game like goes on, it really does. It makes it feel like it's a myth that's being told to you. With as it happens, and, a um, and because uh, because of how well this story blends in with all of the other um, s- stories in like ancient Greek culture, uh, all the the Olympic mythologies and stuff like that, it really feels like it could have been one of those stories from the get go. Yeah, like, like it, it's a sequel to the the Jason and the Golden Fleece story. And you see what happens. What do Medusa's two sisters do after Awaken. their sister's head gets cut off? What do they do? Exactly. They were groping each other last we saw. They were. They were. But they can't, they can't grope forever. No. Sooner or later, they have to grasp. <laughs> grope and grasp. Yeah. Yes. So and th- this is a beach that we've washed up on some sort of uncharted island and everyone on the oh, no. beach and island has been turned to stone. Oh no, that's a big old man there. And there's a big old man there. With a lightning sword. It's nice to see uh, a game set in ancient Greece that's not only about <laughs> murdering a whole bunch of yeah. dudes. Something that's not Assassin's Creed? Something that's not Assassin's is, is Creed that what or, you're referring or God to? of War, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, but the, but those are really, like, besides, um, there was another game that came out in 2015. It was called Apotheon. Do you remember that? I think we talked about playing it, but we never did. It was a, uh, it was like a side-scroller game, but the art style was all done in, like, the ancient Greek pottery. Yeah, I think I do remember that. Yeah. Um, but besides those games, that's really the only stuff set in Greece. I mean, there's some, like, RTS things, but uh-huh. nothing that really, like, delves into the mythology of it. So this is this is the gameplay. You walk around, and you... You gotta go talk to the Zelda owl. That's how this works. Okay, talk to owl. So by talk, I just have to left-click and right-click. That's the only, like, interactions I have with the okay. environment. I also have this uh, inventory, which is empty. This owl seems, this owl unaware, seems of unaware of its preternatural perch. And unconcerned, and unconcerned with the plight. Okay, so, so it's just sailor. observe. Yeah. That owl is of no significance other than... A frozen, a frozen uh-huh. screen. I think the eyeballs on the statues is very creepy. Titus. Yes. Helmsman um, of the Argo. They, they're, Never again they're large eyeballs. The rising of black waves. Bugged. 
So I walk over here. More than a piece of driftwood. Ah. You can this pick that one up. Yes. This aisle is if littered with such debris. If you can pick something up, debris. it has a filled-in hand symbol. Mm -hmm. And if you um, can use an item on it, it will have an outline of a hand. Okay. And that's so. So that much. one only. Uh, so now I have two pieces of wood here. It this only lets you pick it up after she told you about it. Broken well, no, it's just like like falling. this thing right here. I can pick this thing right here up, but if I'm this far away, it's not going to tell me I can pick it up. Okay, what? So it's just kind of like an angle thing. Her planks broken and her fl light glints strange off this carved strange stone. carved ah. stone. That's probably key. Inside. I'll be taking that. Look, creepy kids. Creep. No creepy. craftsman could it's like, uh, a like child so like Pompeii it. almost. Nor create the water that flows what from these rocks. What happened in Pompeii? Would for keep the people even who are the unaware. most stalled. Where the volcano erupted and everybody turned into beneath. ash versions of themselves. This isn't an ash version. This is just a sheep. Yeah. The chalky fleece of this ewe you. is wanting for a shearer's work. Because what happened was there was a uh, there was a rock monster inside the volcano. Right. And the Doctor Who had to uh, had to make the volcano erupt to destroy the rock monster because the rock monster was going to destroy the world. Okay. How did he, how did he make the volcano blow up? I don't remember. Okay. He probably just pressed a button somewhere. And that said, volcano on. And he pushed it. And that, that made it explode. <laughs> yeah, Doctor Who's easy Cracked to write. And oh, oh, this is a Doctor Who thing. Wooden plank I mean, it, it, did you it, say it's, that? It, it, did you it, say that? I, I did say the Doctor Who. Oh. It, it's not easy to write, but it, I mean, you can do pretty much anything. This it sure seems like it's easy to write. A bunch of people have done it. A bunch of people have done it. Struck, Some people do better at it than others. Of the sea have you watched any of the ones with the, but a fisherman's the doctor net. that's current, the lady Except doctor? I've seen some of them, yeah. What do you think? They're terrible. This massive okay. sculpture Is that from the uh, bedrock. her fault or the writer's Deep fault? It's writer's fault. It's not her fault. She's actually very likable. What's her name? The actress? Uh, the actress is Jodie Whittaker. Jodie Whittaker. I yeah. feel like I've heard of that person in something other than Doctor Who. An Look, impossible horse a Pegasus. With ah. snow white wings. Graves we, we Regal. Hillock. Oh can, no, come can back. You, can you pick it up? Pegasus, come back, no. Spook, ah. no. Ah. You bastard. The stallion launches itself uh. from the cliffside. Before and then mighty he just cuts wings it in half. carry it far above the awestruck sailor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, that thing. Nearly two hundred uh, men high. That's a large man. The massive bronze yeah, he's soldier a, he's stands a little distracted, silent, not worried about us right now because the there are these sirens down here. Rising, those salty this is what caused us to crash upon the island. Their form. You know how sirens are. There is no are. denying the women upon the rocks. Yeah, or even from here, over there. The lure of the siren song is strong. This is one of those things I want to see everything, but yeah. you, you can't do it in this kind of circumstance. Well, that's the problem. Yeah, either we can sit here in silence and just click on things yeah. and look and listen to the descriptions, or we, we or can we sit can here talk. and talk about Doctor Who. Yeah. of this and one way or the other for a yeah. work. is not going to give you the, gre the best uh, example of the way the game works. But Tis funny Palomis. thing about that Pompeii episode of Doctor Who Whose bodily is, frame and there was a, no man could manage. A Pompeii villager dude played by Peter Capaldi who got saved this by young current woman, Dr. David Tennant at the time. Likely a right. He was spared from the volcano. Seems to have been frozen and then in time. That's why Peter Capaldi being in the show is so relevant later on because it reminded <coughs> when he became the doctor he saw his face in the, this child in the, in the was mirror and reminded it himself Ill, to be compassionate. But surely mm. by something that is beyond I don't understand a lot of what you just said. Is Peter Capaldi also a doctor? Yes. Okay, well, so you didn't say that. Okay. This he, grotesque statue... Personally, I think he's the best one. Honorable Peter Capaldi? Castor. Yeah. A lot of people don't agree with that. Trinket such as this upon these shores. I Let think alone with that a lot of people of think that David Tennant is the best one, right? My wife thinks that too. And the episode that I'm describing about Pompeii was David Tennant. Okay. Look at this eyeball. While it appears to be chiseled, it appears from the same to be chiseled. 
This stone is set apart from the great statue, the head of a once well, giant well, stone right statue, here. like small ticks, a like droplets pedestal. of water. Better put it in this weird thing for no reason. Pedestal. It doesn't fit. The sure stone looks like drops it fits. neatly into the groove. <laughs> it's not the same the shape. That's not how this works. That's where the puzzle was, Mitchell. Passageway. <laughs> if this was just any normal video game. You would expect it to look like a clover. Now I'll be taking that back. Thank you. I'm come back that way because there's something over here I want to grab first. Okay. Oh shit, plot! <laughs> oh, is that what you wanted to grab? No. Plot device. Into a dense thicket skirting the stone path. A soothing voice murmurs in his ear. So when, when, no you start, when you start playing this game, you might think that it's like it's going to be one of those walking simulators where you never see any other like moving objects, like moving NPCs and stuff, because obviously they made it a walking simulator because they didn't, they couldn't create movable things. But uh, curiously, this game is not is not like that. Well, yeah, but stuff like uh, Firewatch, like you never see another person in Firewatch, ever. You see the silhouette of the helicopter pilot at the end, and that's it. The immortal asks, I guess you're right. Tilted yeah. With yeah. Um, and like her stuff like everybody's stuck. gone to the rapture her and um, fucking what's that? I one? started to play that. I didn't get very far. There was that one that you and I played. Uh, so what remains of Edith Finch? Her. Like it's then all there's the, like dear Esther. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All these she things says, where it's easier for them to not side. model characters. But uh, this game doesn't do that. There's actually stuff that happens. Now most of the time, the stuff that happens does happen like this in these like non-interactive of cutscenes. Right. I feel but my own hand I love the way that like you're still getting the narration motion. during the cutscenes and, and it'll it'll go to the character's voice but then I've she'll say that. the you know it'll have the woman in. said oh, after it and I kind of like that. It gives the whole thing I more of a story feel to it. Of Crete. And as um, I did for your so here before, Athena is tasking us to uh, rescue the people that are still trapped from our ship crashing. Okay. And if she does that, then she'll give us a boat and passage off the island. Not a heartbeat later. The goddess is gone. And breath gladly returns. Thing is always making deals well. with people to make video games happen. Yeah. Where would video games be without Athena telling them what to do? She's not always very nice either. Look, Hydra Head. It's still bloody. It's still bloody. But everything else is stone. Oh no. And the rest of it's stone. There, there's. But its cut-off head is still bloody. Wonder why that is. So where's the Medusa? They slithered off. This you saw wayfarer's spear. Just some slither back. Both a Those were the Medusas. They were the twin Medusa sisters. Oh, okay. Crunch. They're called Gorgons. Medusa was the name of the one that got her head chopped off. Okay. Their names are uh, Uriali and Syntha. Okay. It's like S T H E N A. So what did we just go pick up? A spear? We picked up a spear. And we're gonna use that spear to get this thing. Now when I first played this game, yep. this is the puzzle that I was stuck on the longest. Because as many times as I went up and down this island, mm -hmm. I never did this and turned this way. I just never did somehow. And because I never turned this way, I never saw this fucking thing. Yeah, that's different. And this fucking thing right here is important. Using and if I don't get it, then we can't progress. Argonus plucks the necklace is that from right? its yes. Before laying it. Because this is a uh, you know a point and click game. Everything's involved with inventory puzzles, <laughs> or almost everything. There's a few puzzles that aren't inventory puzzles, and those are where the game really like kind of picks up. The, it, it does a really good job, for the most part, of, like, introducing you to the area and then you slowly figuring out what's going on, but it kind of, like, a, a few times... Like this right here. The um, lovely purple color. It's, you could have just walked right by it. Well, it's not that I just could have walked right by it, but nature. there's no reason for me to do that. Like, other, other than I know this is a video game. There's no reason for me to, like, in, in thematically, there's no reason to want to pick that flower. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a... It's showing you the key to the locked door before it shows you the locked door, if you know what I mean. 
Okay. And it's always more intriguing if you find the locked door first, and then you're like, oh, fuck, well, I have to go find the key for this, as opposed to, oh, I have a key, and then you just come up to somewhere and be like, oh, I guess this just goes right here, then. Yeah, I guess. You. you know, like this right here. Unlike Here's the a statue of Poseidon, and it had said that I could give design. him a thing. And because I had never, this like, walked around and seen Poseidon that little amulet, which if we look at, oh, will tell us that yeah. it was... It's not unlike yeah, one okay. that was worn by Peleus, but the since son we know of the that, great sea god himself. We take our amulet, we wave it in front of the Poseidon's face. Removing the necklace. Argonus holds it before the Oh look, the owl, our friend, silently. is up in the top right the corner. I told you. It he's following us. Audience to a weary wayfarer. He's gonna, he's gonna um, great sea god does not kidnap us and hold us hostage for Within seven years. Seconds, marble shudders, <laughs> foundations shake, and the is this, heart uh, of Argonus is quickened. A dude we're gonna have to fight the now? Of no, there's no fighting. Sinks. There's no combat. It was Poseidon. Only to be found yeah, but he, Poseidon is soul. not usually a nice man. Poseidon stretches well, his no. Not, I, I don't think really I've ever none seen... None of the gods are super nice. I don't think I've ever seen a depiction of Poseidon where he wasn't just a giant asshole. I'm trying to think. And I don't mean that literally, obviously. I, I mean, sailors usually prayed to Poseidon and intended to keep on his good side. He is framed as a villain in a lot of stories. Um, but also, he's been shit on a good bit. Like, he, uh, he's not as well looked upon as his brothers, Zeus and Hades, who were both considered far more important in the grand scheme of things. And, like, you know, Athena, like, the statue of the sea kidnapped his girlfriend and turned her into a lizard person. And, speaks no more. and then made Perseus cut her his head off, so, you know. Okay. Anyway, so because I uh, gave him tribute by praying to him, now this water is not pouring out of these fish's mouths anymore. I see. And we can go this so way. So we have a dry creek bed. Yes. So if we go back down the stairs, doop, 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 doop. Ba -doop -boop -boop -ba -doo. And again, this took me probably a good hour and a half. Just to I, figure out I, I got what stopped? Yeah, well, no, just to find that little amulet. Okay. And so I got very, very familiar with it this. It took us like this first, uh, 10 minutes? 20 minutes. This first area of the island. But, oh, and uh, so Ar Argonus, son of Argus, creator of the Argo, for which the Argonauts get their name. Right. Um, he's a map maker. <laughs> and so as you uh, progress through the game... We get a map. He uh, draws a map of the island, and there, you see these circles here. Uh-huh. These circles are then where he goes into greater detail with saying exactly what just happened, slowly, in his own words, as he draws it. Let alone spook. Okay. I don't understand exactly what the purpose of this part is, like why this is included, because this can only be accessed once the events already happened, and I guess it's like if you were, you left the game for a couple of days, and then you came back and you were like, oh shit, it could what be. was going on? It could be, yeah. It could be that. I used it because I showed it, uh, I was showing Zoe the game the other day. And instead of explaining what I was talking about, I was just like, here, I'll just show you. And I pulled up one of these and let it narrate it out for her. Um, other than that, I don't see any reason at all why it has such a drawn, such drawn out sections to like reiterating what just happened. Well, just for the, the sheer fact of, you know, it's like you're opening a storybook, so you don't have to play the game to get the story of it. That's true. Um... And I assume you can access it at any time. Yes, sure. Yes. And as you go throughout the game, you know, it keeps adding to it. And, I mean, this is just, you know, this is just because, this is just recounting that one cutscene with Athena. And it's still going on. You know, it's almost as long as the cutscene itself. Yeah. Somebody was having fun. Yes. And... Ja -ja -ja! I miss, uh, you know, I like how there's no loading screens anymore in games. I yeah. Don't, I don't miss loading screens per se, 
I do kind of miss... Like some kind of masochist? Separate sections like where you can kind oh, of okay. it, just for like you know how like when we played uh do sex and yeah. and we were running from the guards and then we passed the loading screen and the guards couldn't chase us anymore right i miss that right i miss stuff like that and when you have a giant connecting open world you know anyway those were harpies did you see them yeah they harped at us <laughs> i'm gonna pick up this wood for no reason why do we have all this wood i'm starting a collection don't question me there's no reason for us to have all this wood. No, I'm, I'm going to build a boat so I can get out of here. I'm going to turn it all into a raft. Are you? No. But I could. Where's the brazier, huh? The brazier? The brazier. We're not going to make a brazier. This is actually for something far more unintuitive. Okay. It's actually not that bad. There, there is very, a corpse fire. There's very little um, stupid adventure game puzzle logic in this, which is nice. Yeah. Like there's nothing that's the, the, no like push newspaper under door bullshit. Um, Navigate minefield with wind up yeah, bunnies. Exa yeah, exactly. So dumb. Oh. The creature that appears on this tablet. Yeah, there's is also well all these uh, plaque pieces. This is yeah, I think I saw us pick one up earlier. Yeah, we did. As um, a beast, that's an interesting one because, world. as far as I can tell, oh, sorry, hold on, I just need to uh, put this ladder in my pocket real fast. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what pocket? Uh, that pocket. See? Yeah. Okay. Ladder, right there. It's all good. All right. I'm interested to see how fast I can, um, how far I can get w now that I know what to do everywhere. How long is this game experience? Well, that's kind of the problem with adventure games, isn't it? Like, because right. so much of the game is, like, kind of you figuring out what you're supposed to be doing. So, it, it, it's curious to see. Like, it probably took me somewhere oh, between six the the to eight hours to beat it the first the time. Really? Um, but, okay. But that includes, you know, the hour and a half I spent wandering around because I couldn't fi find the one little thing I needed to proceed. I'd say that's probably about how long Firewatch took. Yeah, I would say the first time. Yeah. Um, but, because, because then you're looking at everything. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I want to go get this book. Yeah. And this game has a little bit of that, too, where there's a lot of times where I'm just wandering around just clicking on everything just to hear in case there's some kind of, like, little bit of clue or something that I'm missing. Mm -hmm. So we picked up a sword, but we're not fighting anything? No. Are we going to insert the, the sword somewhere, then? No. It just goes into our gallery? We're, we have to have it so that we look like a big, tough man. Oh. We have to look like a big tough man for mommy, otherwise she'll beat us. Okay. That's the way that this works. Don't you know anything about the Greek gods, Mitchell? It's like a Zelda game. You can't go anywhere without a sword and shield. In Zelda games, you use your sword and shield. Yeah, I, was, I was impressed by the time I got here. One, because I had just spent so much time on the beach, I was worried that there was no more to the game. Right. But also just, like, I wasn't expecting it to be kind of as vast as it is. Uh, now, here's an obvious puzzle. We've got... we got a recipe sheet a right recipe there. A recipe sheet right there. We've got a mortar, mortar and pestle and a little bag. All right. So, so obviously, that flower from earlier... Toss, go ahead and toss that flower right on in there. Because yeah, you can see it on the sheet without looking at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have... Oh, yeah, you're right. I don't even have to pick that up to see what's on it. No. Um, so what's in that bag? That bag? No, that's the bag that we use to put the dust in once we've uh, got okay. the other two flowers. Okay. Which I think are back in the other area. So we, didn't, where, we didn't pick them up. Here's where the puzzle pieces go. Not yet, no, but we could have. By the time I had reached oh, here in my first playthrough, I had already gotten all of these and all of the flowers. Just because I spent so much time dicking around. Okay. With a grunt of satisfaction. With a grunt of satisfaction. For the piece of I like a grunt of satisfaction. Usually you can't get none of that. Dun 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 dun. Funny jokes. Funny jokes from funny folks. Hey, hey! That's us. We're funny folks. There's nothing over here. Then, then why is there a spot for you to interact with? 
It was just a look at spot. It wasn't a hand spot. Oh yeah. It's just gonna say something like, "This table this, was this very clean." This is an clean. empty bed. Yeah. Images can be observed on this there, there's a, uh, a slate. It's yep, another piece of that puzzle. Look. You knew it was there. I did. I really don't know. So if you know where that, everything is. Yes. I really don't know if putting this together does anything. I'm sure it has to, right? I don't remember it, like, unlocking anything or giving me an item when I did it last time, but I could be wrong. I don't remember it doing anything. Anyway, I know what to do next to progress the plot, so let's just move that way. All right. Small bits oh, God damn it, there's another one. Might as well take it back. No. I'll come back there later. Ah. Sick of looking at it. Ah. Change of scenery. Ah. Ah. Stop it. Get your hands out of your pants. Ah. <laughs> so if we go up this ways, yes. Who is this we see now? While impressive statues, we'll talk the, to her the goddess Hera, are not uncommon. Provoked by the world, she is not a nice person. The great That's what she said about the last god we met. Yeah, but Hera, it's almost as if all the Greek gods are dicks or something. Oh, Who ah, are you organist? Story, <laughs> ah. storyteller, <Stop> <laughs> map maker. I feel like all of these no gods Tis slash goddesses I need see. more clothes. With that, Why? They're, the goddess they have like the most iconic bodies that a human being can have. They're not supposed to like be ashamed of it. So now I will hold my sword up. Look, mommy, I'm a strong boy. Look, I'm not I'm not just sword a map maker, I'm a strong boy. So you meant mommy literally. Yes. The great goddess will reveal See, it says mother of Ares right there. The mother of Ares. We're not Ares. No, we're not. The statue slowly comes to life and stone lives. Get off my back. Okay. Argonos? It did, it did say we were like the son of Stand Zeus, though. No. 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 Well, you no, we're son Calliope of... Calliope is the daughter of Zeus. That's where we're I talking. That was at the very that, beginning. That's the narrator. Yes. Narratress. Yes. To be, to be politically correct. Is that, is that a word? Narr Narratress? Narratress? No. <laughs> In fact, it found more sexist, I think, <laughs> than narrator. <laughs> it's like saying, I shouldn't call him a server, I should call you a serves. A serves. Yeah. A restaurant attendant. Um... It just makes it sound like they're they're gonna like clean the buckle, bathroom. buckle you in and yeah clean the bathrooms and stuff. Reclaim my honor. Um, so uh, what Hera is saying here is that there have been some spooky harpies that took you saw them earlier. We saw the harpies. We remember the harpies. They, they harped at us. They harped at us. Um, and those harpies <laughs> have taken up residence in her magic orchard. You remember Hera? Is that a euphemism? Yes. For crotch. Yeah. You remember what Hera? Keeps Come to my magic orchard. How many people are you inviting? Is it like a guided tour? I will make it like new. It's. And I thought Napa Valley was bad. Uh, All right, so she took our rusty sword and made it not rusty anymore. Sweet. Now it looks like a, a, a normal Kikiri sword. But not before yes. The final warning. Is it weird that all of the gods seem to have like a uh, genie gauntlets on? Bail in this. Ah. You see that? Like they kind of yeah, look I like do, I uh, do from see Aladdin. That, yeah. All right. So, so then, so then, who is the big man? Was that Ares? The bi the big man? The big man. The giant stone, the two hundred man tall yeah. giant. No, that's just a. Uh, I think his name is Telos. Okay. He he's just a giant. He's just a giant. He's a, he's a normal two hundred man tall soldier. Okay. Nothing out of the ordinary. But he, he looked like he was all stony. Well, I don't know. How like like these other he, gods. He, he cut. A, he could have had something to drink. I don't know. Smoke is what I meant to say. Yeah, there you go. Stony. Stony. Yeah. Anyway. So, stony. So what do you think we're gonna do with our uh, brand new enchanted sword in order to get the harpies out of the orchard? I think we're gonna stick it in a pedestal and flip a switch. And it's going to cause a great alarm to... Or we're going to cut down the tree that they're in. Ah, that would, that would work. Yeah. But I think Hera, the whole point is that she wants to keep her golden apples. 
So like oh, yeah, yeah. cutting down she the does, apple tree. She does want her golden apples. It's kind of like the reverse George Washington thing. You don't really want to do that. Right. I had to trick George Washington into cutting down a tree in the last game I played. Was that Assassin's Creed Revolutionary War? No, it was uh, Day of the Tentacle. Oh, yeah. That's a good game. Anyway, no, you silly goose. We're going to take the sword and shove it in this animal's mouth. We're going to make a hydra puppet? Drives the yeah, we're going to shove it mouth. right up the neck and then but stick our hands through the eyeballs and force. we're going to make a Woo! big mouth. The sailor of the Argo no, we're going to perform no dental three uh, surgery. Teeth. No more than three. Yes, we've taken three hydra of, teeth. Of the beast teeth. Now, how well do you know your Greek mythology? They're poisonous, aren't they? No. No. Well, they may be. Okay. But uh, what do you do with teeth in Greek mythology? You wear them proudly around your neck. No, you plant them in a field. You Philistine. You, okay. I, okay. Um, Why would you do that? Because when you plant dragon teeth in a field, upspring soldiers so that they can fight your enemies. Okay. That was a thing. That was a thing. Yeah, um, I think it was a... I uh, can't remember if that was Jason or if that was um, Oedipus. Uh, or Oedipus, I guess. But it was... Um, they, he, uh, he needed an army, and so the Athena told him to take... You know, you go out here and kill this dragon and, and then take its teeth and plant it in the field. And when he did that, like a hundred uh, soldiers sprang up from the field. Okay. Now, did you just go into this knowing that, or did the game tell you that? Um, the game did not tell me that. I didn't. I knew that from my own okay. love of Greek mythology. Right. But uh, no, this is this. I kind of went in on a guess. I was like, well, there's this pond. This is the harpies. Uh huh. These are some floating stones. Those are the trees with the golden apples in them. And I was just like, well, it wants me to throw something into this pond, and if you try using the sword on the harpy, it won't work. Uh -huh. So just kind of on a whim, I was like, is this what it wants me to do? And it sure as shit was. Okay. Which is nice. You know, that means that by, by using my external knowledge of mythology, I was able to, you know, progress in the game, which was kind of cool. Uh, I don't know how well like that Like a hard would... drive? What? Your external knowledge? That is that on your hard drive? Hey. <sighs> hate you so much. <laughs> I know. Wish you were still on strike. Me too, oddly enough. Anyway, so now what? we have skeleton soldiers that will do our bidding. Okay, I get it. Yep. I get it. Isn't it fun? Yeah. Neat little There was game. only three. Yep, only three teeth. But it's okay. Wah, wah. So in my review of this game, I said that there's one scene in which the battle sounds do not line up at all with what's happening on the screen. Is that this one? It's this right here. Oh, we must have. We talked over it. But yeah, they're swinging their swords, and it's just like, ching, 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 and it, nothing's happening. Yes, <laughs> like I am victorious. Oh, well, I love that skeleton. He's got such a good attitude. <laughs> And, then, and, then, and he just stands there until you need him again. He looks like he's ready for a killer instinct. That's right. I'll be taking one of these. The golden skin of these apples was Actually, you know what? I'm going to take all of these. I thought Dibs. that will ang anger Dibs. Mama Hera, won't it? Dib, what Mama don't know won't hurt her. Oh! Dibs. That's, that's, uh, that's what you say when you show off your... Roy Orbison tattoo on your ass. Oh, it is, isn't it? Well, Mama don't know won't hurt her. Is that where I got that from? It might be. Oh, man, it's been so long since I've seen The Water Boy. I mean, that is definitely a thing that happens in that. All right, so we got to go give Hera one of these golden apples to prove that we were listening to what she okay. said. What are we going to do with the rest of them? We're going to eat them quietly in our room. So that she can't hear Just to, us. Just to show our protest. Yeah. <laughs> Hiding under the bed with a flashlight. You like these apples, do you? How about these apples? 
Are there achievements in a game like this? Yes. Maybe if you took all the apples? Um, there is an achievement for picking up every inventory item on the island. It's one of the few achievements that uh, I didn't get after I beat the game. Huh. Which is weird, because I thought I had everything. I must have been... I don't know what I was missing, but Did I missed something. Did you not get all the apples? I may have not just, like, sat there and gone to every tree. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you can or can't get all of the apples. Um... But I did do, I did get like 70, 80 percent of all the achievements for the game on my first go through. Okay. Um, I got one for, uh, I don't know how much, like, I don't know how much I want to spoil this game. Um, because it would kind of be fun to go all the way back through it again. Yeah. But at the same time, with as fast as we've gone now, I don't know. Pegasus. I don't know. We could maybe knock this out in like two or three hours. And I'd be interested to see your opinions of the ending. Okay, you gotta understand that I have really no idea of the plot thus far. I told you the plot thus far. All of, we crashed on this island. All of our people turned to stone. Athena told us we can help them, and now we're trying to find out how to do that. Okay. We're trying to progress further into the island in order to find a way to save our friends. And look, owl. He is following you around. The snow white owl is beautiful. It is surprising to see an owl. He appeals mildly interested in the wanderings. Can can you? Shit, yeah, we can, dog. Ooh. Oh, y'all, he don't trust you. Oh, you Fe know, feed him apples. You know what you should do? You should probably feed him an apple. Yeah. That was a weird little animation your wings just did, buddy. Yeah. D d he he likes it now. Mm-hmm. Your eyes do not at all appear as if they're painted onto the uh, mesh of your skin. <laughs> he's got you a... don't look like a PS2 horse at all. Yeah, he's got a golden eye face. <laughs> <laughs> he does, that's what it is. <laughs> like in The Sims when you're trying to mod characters and you see it all, like you see the whole Sims body stretched out in paint yeah. and it's just like that. Okay, cool. So... Alright, so now... We've progressed slightly farther. We can check our map and see that it is true indeed. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Did we miss a whole area? Um, I didn't walk to the end of that area, so yeah, kind of. Okay. We'll probably have to go back. Okay. Because now I think there's definitely some stuff that I did not pick up that I'm going to need. The Burden of Thanatos. Yes. So, look here. Yes. It ashes from a spent fire. So with no other information given. You think they're still hot enough? It's interactable. What do you think we should do? Put the other wood on it? Put the other wood on it. That's just crazy enough to be exactly right. It's still hot enough, huh? Well, it's just, I mean, it doesn't need to be hot. You just we, we know that a fire used to be there, so obviously that's where a fire should be again. You know? It's weird the things that it shows you the one by one uh, bits for, and then the things that later on it just like fades in and fades out to having been right. completed. Like, because that seemed unnecessary. It seems like we're missing one. Does it? We still have two pieces of wood left. Oh, well, so then, I think we're good. Then we got enough. Oh look, the word on this part a note. Let us take the note. They were quickly written. Better write this note in a hurry. Did it? No, what does? What button. do it say? It's a, the coals were unfit for the forge, take care with the wood, you let it burn too high, dirt first, then fire. So, yeah, it's basically saying that you need to make some coal, probably. And we need to see the shearer. Yes. For the kindling. Yes. Hold on, shovel. <laughs> we'll take that. Okay. And then... Can we dig right there where yes, the shovel was? Yes, we can. That's, fair, a, that, fair, that's fairly, our coal. Fairly simple puzzle here. Yeah. Uh, no, we're make, we have to make the coal. Okay. We're, we're going to burn the wood down until it becomes charcoal. Oh. So what we're doing is we're building a kiln around the wood with the dirt. Okay. But we, now we still need uh, a way to start the fire, and we need the... Um, 
the 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 the, 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 the wool shearer, the shit that starts the little the, ignite the, ignition the kindling. Kindling, sure. That's for a mortar. That's no, that's for charcoal. That's for charcoal. That flower. That flower. Oh no, the 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 yeah, the flowers for the mortar. Yeah. And pestle. When you say mortar like that, and we were just talking about building stuff, it makes me think of like tar and mortar, not like mortar and pestle mortar. You know, mortar yeah. has like two different meanings. Yeah, that's Hades. No, Hades would never just be standing out in the cold like this. He's down in uh, well, Hades. Right. So, who is this man? He is uh, Thanatos, I believe. Um, he is like a. I think. Oh, that's Thanatos. In this game, they call it. That is what I said. Yes. In the in this game, they call him a uh, Daimon. Mm -hmm. I imagine it means demon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Daimon, uh, I think, was the name of the captains in of the Ferengi in Star Trek. Okay. So it, it's kind of silly to me every time it says Daimon. Should we intermission? Nah, he's fine. Okay. Alright, so we can't go that way because he's blocking us. Alright. And that's the way we came. That's that. So this way. There's a few things we need to do here before we turn around and go back to where we were. How many more flowers did we need for the mortar and pedestal? Just this one. Oh, there it is. No, that's not the right one. We just need one more. It's just that, three that's flowers. That's not the right one? That's not the right one. That's one of the ones that we already have. Oh, okay. This is Hades here. <gasps> Our friend. Mm-hmm. What's he doing out there? Hanging out with the Lord of the Underworld. Maybe he's not as nice an owl as we you thought. Just, you just yelled at me for thinking that was Hades a minute ago. You said he, he's not up above ground. It's a statue of Hades. It's not really him. It's just an icon so that he may inhabit it to uh, commune with the free folk. Don't you know how depictions of gods work? Sister? I don't know any of what you just said. Dude, that was a snapback. <laughs> uh-uh! Oh no, he didn't! That kind of thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, the, the, it's just, you know, it, the game repeats in this manner, where you travel around, you do things, you meet the gods, you t do small, tiny little tasks for them, mm. and then they give you either, they either open up new ways to go forward, or they give you an item which helps along on your journey. Uh, and I guess at this point, I don't think we'll play it through all of it, but... So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and I want I want to talk about the ending. But I do like this Unless game. Unless you want to episode to it. I don't, I don't think I do. All right. But I do like this game. And I think that this is a good game that people that like this genre should go out and play. Yeah. So if that is you, listener, listener. I'm talking to you now. If that is you, go out and buy this game because it's good. What is the retail price of this game? I do not recall. If it's more than like thirty bucks, don't buy it. Okay. But it's worth thirty bucks. It might it may be worth forty if you're super into this genre. But if you're not, then you know Oh, we got a helm. Yes, we have a little helmet of invisibility in which we will take to uh Well, we can kinda of take wherever we want for a little while. And, um, you know, and this is the same helmet of invisibility that we, uh, were talking about earlier from our, from our readings. Right. So, the end of this game. Mm -hmm. Spo spoilers for Argonus and the Gods of Stone here on out. Ah, the Gods of Stone. They're stone gods. You get it now? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so because um, you're talking to statues and they're the actual gods. Yes. Oh, uh, so now the sirens won't be able to see us, huh? Well, uh, the sirens 
get uh, control people through song, and this doesn't make it so we're deaf. So no, this won't help us at all with them. The Medusa sisters. The Medusa sisters. Um, if we knew where they were right now, this may help us with them. Right. But we don't know where they are. See, the we were talking over at Hades tasked us to find an uh, an all seeing orb, which is kept in the protection of a couple of witches, right? Those witches. These witches here, but we can't get to it because it's like in their hands. You see it? It's right there. I see it. Can't just like grab it out of her hand. But there's a fire right here. Uh -huh. The fire has a little icon on it. If we had read that um, piece of paper earlier about the flowers, it would have said that it was for a sleep potion. So what uh, we do is we got to do the flowers. So we got to go we gotta back to the, the mortar sleep. and we gotta, take, we gotta take the sleep potion, take it there, throw it in front of the fire. They knock out. We take the all-seeing eye. Take that back to Hades. Okay. All right. So, um, throughout the game, as it progresses. Which, actually, to demonstrate, I can load up my save, which is later on. It's like uh, like one of them shows on TV when they're baking a cake and then like, it'll take an hour, but look right here! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's that, that big stony man. Hello. Um, can, can you, is he going to take us for, for a ride? Or, take or did, he, ride, did he just do that? Gonna take you for a ride. Da, 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 da. That was crazy taxi. Yeah. Um, no. So. Uh, Does he want to? Uh, he is. He he can take me for a ride. I don't want to do it right now. Um. Well, I guess I can. It doesn't matter. I, I I'm so torn between like spoiling this and not spoiling this. But it, it, what basically happens is that you... Just go spoil no, it. No, well, I'm, I'm trying to. You but, go, but not for the viewer. Just for me. Th there's no way to do one over the other. Look, the final... Uh, if I go through this door here, it'll show you what's uh, ostensibly the final puzzle in the game. Okay. Which I really, really liked. It was um, kind of like a take on the Minotaur's Labyrinth. And it's this right here, which you go in, and there's it's a s series of circular rooms that you go in and have to figure out the right way. Oh well, this shit looks familiar. To do different things, but what's fun about it is that out here and in front of every exit to the labyrinth is this little wheel, and you move this little wheel here here to open and close off different exits in the labyrinth. And so you have to decide, like, you're here, you want to go over here, then set this up in the right way so that you can follow the path back, and then you have to go follow it in real life. Okay. I like it a lot. Um, so you do all this. You're tracking the, the Gorgon sisters down. Um, one of the sisters, uh, Uriali, is not as evil as the other one, and so she ends up trying to stop her sister from, uh, she's trying, her sister's trying to go into Hades to bring back Medusa's soul from the Tartarus pit, which is the deep pit filled with all the worst monsters in the world in Hades. Yes. And she wants to not only release Medusa, but release all of the monsters into the world in order to um, lay ruin to both man and gods for what they did to them. That's bad. It is bad. So her sister tried to stop her, and she killed her sister, whose corpse is here. Oh. Um, thankfully, face down. And so then you are tasked with going to the underworld to stop her. Like, you, you have to basically, like, go to Hades yourself in order to stop um, Sathena from, or Sathena from, uh, you know, ending all of humanity as you know it. And. What so, happened to your hand? What? What happened to your hand? What happened to my hand? Yeah. Oh, uh, his hand. Yes. Not my hand. His hand. Uh, you have a demon hand. If we'd have finished that task for Hades, that giant uh, Thanatos demon would have given us the power to go around and release souls that are uh, waiting to turn... to the Souls that are still alive that need to go to the uh, netherworld, you can release them and kill people just by touching them. So you go around the island then, 
and release all of the souls from the statues, and you go around the entire island and crumble all of those statues one by one with your hand. I see. And once you've done that, then uh, you go to access the underworld, and you're sitting there, and you give uh, Charon, the boatman, you give him your two coins so that you can pass the river sticks. Okay, we, as, we as found one. We, are, we found one earlier. The, there's another one later on. Okay. Um, yeah, it was, just, it was just sitting there in the middle of that cave, very easily missable. Yeah. Um, and you, he'll just shake his head and say, only the dead, for every time you try to hand him the money. Unless you go through and you... Re, um, release the souls of all of your crew members of the Argo all over the island. And once you do that, then when... This is the dramatic part. When that happens, um, all of the soldiers rise up, their souls come up, and they tell Charon how good of a person you are and how good a job you did. And they're, like, chanting for you to come. And then you get on the boat... And it, it says this whole little speech about how you're the, um, you're finally about to finish your uh, vision, and everything is about to climax, and you're about to go into Hades and defeat the evil, and then the game credits roll, and it just fucking ends. Okay. Right when you're going down the river Styx with all the people chanting for you and everything, the game just ends, and then it comes out, and... It, there's like a 13, 15 second, like little stinger animation of the Gorgon sister turning around and being like, What? You? Ah! And then it fades out, and then the game's just over. Okay. And that's it. And, it. and it absolutely ruins a lot of the emotional impact of the ending because they like, they end it an hour too early. Like, if there had been one more level of you, like, actually confronting her and actually doing something to defeat her, it would have been a story. But this didn't do that. It, it literally ended, like, right at the climax. I see. Without having any resolution of the story. And then just, like, at the very, after the credits roll, it just has, like, a little thing. It's like, no, 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 it, it was fine. You won. It, it, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And it really feels like they just ran out of money. They might have. Like they ran out of money or time or energy or all of the above. Um, as emphasized by this uh, beautiful hell landscape that we're in. Oh, this is hell. Yes, well, it's, it's the outside of hell. Ah, okay. Uh, th th this is a thing that happens once you, uh, you have the all-seeing eye every now and then. You, like, you have a vision of something that happened in this area in the past. Except okay. it's not a vision, it's just like an audio hallucination. So you get uh, subtitles that tell you what happened, but... Okay. And, and so I enjoyed it, but I really wish it would have ended more satisfying. Tori. There's only the dead. Yeah. Uh huh. And she just doesn't care, apparently. She just, like, slithers off into the water. Which seems like you shouldn't be able to do that. She's just like, my vengeance will carry me. How's that work? How does it work? I don't know. I don't know. It kind of, it kind of goes against the whole plot of having the, <laughs> having the river guardian there. If you can just, if you're mad enough, it doesn't matter. You know? It was, a, it was a torch that I forged from gold that I stole from a griffin for Hephaestus. <laughs> and there's a sentence. Yeah. Um, and then if we go down here, we can actually see uh, Charon. Oh, and here's the, the travel dildo. The what? This is a, a purple crystal that you use to teleport to different um, temples. Around the island. Okay. Looks looks a lot like a dildo. Does it go into the skull, man? No, it goes into like these holes in the ground. Okay. You know, like they do. 
the, 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 the boatman. I think he, this is just an only the dead because I haven't um, in this save. I, I didn't go back and there's like three statues. I think I forgot about the guy stretching on the tree uh -huh. to get that uh, Poseidon amulet, so I had to go back and get him. I think it's a pretty good, of all the different times we've seen like the River Sticks and Caronian games, I feel like this is a pretty good depiction of him. He looks a lot like uh, Havoc from Mortal Kombat. He does. So, that's about, uh, that's about the game. Only the dead fatality. Yeah. Look that face. Yeah. Wow. It's a fleshy ship. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. But yeah, so right through there is is the credits. We're we're inches away from the credits. But yet so far. But yet so far. So you have anything? Anything you want to say? You want to do a dramatic reading from the from the book of Greek myths? I don't actually. All right. But I'm sure you do. His misfortunes had started before he was born. His father, King Laius of Thebes, had been told by the Oracle of Delphi that his child... Is this about Aladdin? No, this wasn't... His different... father was the King of Thebes. No, Thebes. Thebes. Ah, different. All right, well. Thanks for ruining my fun. Anytime. It's nice to have you back, Mitchell. Get the fuck out of my house. Don't you lie to me. <laughs> the end. All right. Good night, everybody. Goodbye.